What's up, everybody? This is the next part of our Tears of the Kingdom series. I believe this is episode 10, and we just finished the Stormwind Ark Temple, the Wind Temple, whatever you want to call it, but we just finished that temple. And we are now going to explore the rest of the area. So I am currently up on top of the Rito Village Tower here. I think it's... They don't have like a name for it. I think it's just a tower that their entire village is around. So we're going to explore the area. I want to try to kind of finish this whole area off if I can within the next couple episodes. But I am noticing, and I did notice, this opening down here. They have the shape of a heart if you didn't know in the center of that tower. But I did notice this area over here when I was climbing up. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it really any other way outside of this. Well, I mean such easy access anyway so let's go ahead and come over here and what are you hmm so these were in the original game so i need to fix your house maybe um <laughs> There we go. It was a Korok. You found me. Thank you very much. Okay, so th those are have those have some more different puzzles. It's not just putting an apple in front of them, which is pretty cool. I like the addition of for some reason I was thinking there's gonna be another Korok there. I like the addition of the different puzzles for them now. I've been quite enjoying them. So now let's go ahead and go into the actual Rito village. Thank you for saving our village, Link. Were you seeking Kennelly? He is out at the flight range at the moment. When the blizzard struck, he volunteered to ensure the flight range would not damage was not damaged by the relentless snows. Though the blizzard has subsided now, he seems content to stay here there. The flight range is beyond the flags visible to the north. As my husband, Teba, has assumed the duties of our elder, Kennelly has offered to devote himself to flight tutelage. While he's away, I have made keeping his house my responsibility. Okay, so I know where to find him. We're going to have to go visit the flight range. I'm sure there's going to be quests in... Ooh, we got a bunch of quests here. Hey! Hey, Link! Thanks to you, life in Rita Village is slowly getting back to normal. I've been looking into leads about Princess Zelda, and I'll let you know right away if any of them go somewhere. Huh. Oh yeah, one other thing. I don't think this has anything to do with where the princess went, but Harth asked me to help him sort through some ancient literature. You'll never believe what I found written in those books. Huh. Sternidia, Goflams, and Sherfins. Hidden treasure sleeps in the center of the three secret hot springs in the mountains. Guide the three waters to that place. When it fills, the slumbering treasure will awaken once more. There's got to be something good waiting for whoever solves the riddle, right? Secret hot springs, huh? I've been to Ster Sternida. Sorry about my pronunciations of things. Secret hot spring a few times. It's northwest of Rito Village. It's the best. Quick soak is enough to heal your wounds in the blink of an eye. Keeps you from freezing too. But I don't know about the others. The Hebra Mountains are a big place. I'm not sure we could cover all of them. But that slumbering treasure is pretty tempting. If only we could find it. Ooh. I like myself some treasure. So to the northwest. Oh, of course, right in the spot that I don't have open yet. Yay. Well, that's going to be one of the very first things we do. Yeah, because these are... That's... Tama Pond. Hmm. I'll have to check that out, too. But that's going to be one of the very first things we do, is finish opening up that map. But let's go and talk to Teppa. Hmm. I was proud to bequeath my great eagle bow to my fully-fledged son, of course. But it does leave me without the bow I've used for so long. Hmm. An elder shouldn't go unarmed, so I'll be crafting myself another one as soon as I can. The bow I gave Tulin was a masterpiece. 
After so many years of use, it was like another limb for me. Hmm. But I think I have it in me to craft one just as good. Mm -hmm. If you want your own great eagle bow, I wouldn't mind crafting one for you too while I'm at it. I'll need a swallow bow, five bundles of wood, and three diamonds. Mm -hmm. Those materials might not be easy to come by, but if you can collect them all, then the bow is yours. Um, I maybe am close? You said you, hmm. what did you need? Uh, you, uh, you need a swallow bow and five bundles of wood. I think, oh, I have the bundles of wood. I have two diamonds, so I really need to just find a swallow's bow. Oh, hey. You're the one who helped Tulin save the village. We owe you big for that. Ah. Now that the blizzards died down, we're stockpiling all the food and materials we use to have in abundance. The others are all working together to bring supplies to the village. I'm managing the whole process from here. Speaking of which, Huck was supposed to bring me some food, but I haven't seen him. He told me he'd collect food from Snowfield Stable in the Tabantha Tundra, northeast of here. Huh? I hope nothing happened to him on his way back to the village. <sighs> oh, never mind me. I was just thinking about a friend of mine who hasn't come back yet. Huh? Hey, you wouldn't happen to have any spare food you'd be willing to part with, would you? Our food stockpiles are looking healthier now that the blizzard has stopped, but they could still be better. If you have any extra food, I'd be happy to trade you for huh? some supplies. I could offer you, say, ten arrows for three glowing cave fish. They're not hard to find if you look in caves. Well, I actually happen to have those. So you're carrying at least three? I mean, this doesn't seem like a good deal, but I'll do it. Maybe you'll give me something a little different. Thanks for the arrows. Do you have any other spare food on you? Oh, oh no, this is going to be like a full thing, isn't it? Um, I think I ate all of my children trout. Oh no. Did I eat them all? No, I have the chill fringe, and I have the bright caps. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't have... Glowing cave fish, bright caps, and chill fringe. I have all of those. Okay, more arrows. Is there something... To this? Like... If I give her a bunch of stuff? Oh. Or is that just a way to farm arrows? I don't know. Hmm, that cave. Where was it again? Oh, hello. Hi. Hey, if it isn't the guy who worked with Tulin to save the village. Everyone in the village is happy to stretch their wings again without, that, um, ice, without them icing over. So thanks for that. And the end of the blizzard has improved visibility too. It's much easier now to find caves where we can gather food. Uh. I saw one just the other day, in fact, while I was flying around, but I forgot exactly where it was. It had a rock... F a rock wreathed in green light inside it, just like the one beneath the general store, so it was a shrine. Just where did I see that cave anyway? I found it while I was looking for that white bird. Are you referring to Tulin as the white bird? Yeah, there was mushrooms in it and a pond with fish. It would have been the perfect place to stock up on supplies. All I remember is that I found it while looking for that white bird. Ah. Yeah, have you ever looked up at the peak of the spire here in Rito Village? Oh. That bit jutting out sideways looks kind of like a bird's perch, right? We call it... Va Meadows Perch. Well, there you go. We were wondering if there was a name at the beginning. There is now a name. Part of my morning routine is to head up there and bask in the sun as it rises. That day, I was getting some sun up on the perch, same as always, just when the dawn was breaking. Right about then, I looked to the west and saw the white bird resting atop the long shadow of the perch. It was weird for a bird to rest on a sh uh, shadow, right? I was curious, so I went to go have a look where I saw the bird. Thing is, I couldn't find the white bird again after that. Instead, I found a cave entrance. It's kind of like that white bird led me to that cave. Mm. Don't know why I can remember all that so clearly, but not where the cave was. 
Um, okay. Oh, that's gonna be that's slightly annoying. I was already up there. But we'll have to go back up there. I saw there was a blimp. Uh, is there anybody over here? No. I saw there was a blimp, so it should make getting up there fairly easy. This is just the shop. I already have bought the full armor set. And... nope. And is there anybody in here? Glad to see the people, the people, the adults are back. Because children aren't people, apparently, in my brain. I'm going to head back up to the top of the perch so we can find that other shrine. So I'll be right back in a minute. So the jerks of Rito Village would not allow me to borrow their blimp. So I have now spent an un outrageous amount of time getting my tiny back up here. So I am a little upset by that. But now that I'm finally, finally back up here, Let's go ahead and, she said it was in the morning time, if I remember correctly. Let's go ahead and figure out where this white bird is, huh? Hmm. Hopefully this works the exact same as, yeah, it works the exact same. And, sit by the fire till morning. And so I need to see the shadow of the perch. Oh, there's the white bird. <laughs> That's the white bird right there. His eyeball is just a rock. It's not just a rock, it's a Korok seed. We went to the West Lake Tatori Cave. Your nose are in a very weird position in that. Because it's either a very upset man holding his hands out, or it's Really creepy person. Ooh, there we go. We got an oof. Really creepy person with his eyes way too wide. So let's go ahead and go into this cave. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I finally have gotten out of the uh, city. Tulin's Val has granted you the power to summon his avatar. There we go. Now, I wanted to see... That's dismiss, dismiss. Do I have... Both of them? Is that how you can... But Riju's not coming out. Huh, I'm gonna have to do some more research on that. Oh! Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some more research on that. Let's go ahead and get into this cave. Oh, yes! Got the sticky lizard. And see what all exactly is in here. Um... Lots of stuff, materials, a lot of stuff to get. Making sure that the Rito have absolutely zero chance of making it through winter. Ooh, I got a twofer. Real quick. Was that a waste of your arrows? Probably, but it was fun. It's good target practice. For whenever I run into one of those stupid... Did I see? Ooh, you can have multiple out at the same time. Ooh, I wasn't sh thinking you were going to be able to do that. Well, that's really cool. So I don't have to choose between the two. Collecting all of our things. Let me get my... Oh, I don't have actually a hammer right now. So I guess I'll have to use this. The Walls Shrine. Alright, well that's that shrine quest completed. Hopefully this is an interesting shrine. It has a good puzzle. But I have to admit, some of these... Oh, excuse me. Some of these shrines I have been a little bit upset about some of the puzzles. I've been hoping for a little more. Lever power. Uh, okay. So we're learning about levers. Oh, that's a piece of wood. How do I get you? My guess is I gotta hit the first one to get you. 
so. Ah. Yes, I understand. Because this, you will attach to that. You will grab this. And we will just plop that in there. And now. You bring that super duper high. And. Oh, I want to make sure I actually hit it. Ooh. There we go. That opens up the first one. Then we make the lever a little bigger so that we can get the second one. Once again, very straightforward puzzle, I hope. I really hope this isn't the end of the puzzle. Uh, that's going to annoy me. Slightly off center. Oop. And. Here we go! Whee! Oh, what? It didn't make it far enough. Uh, uh huh. I'm gonna guess it was just that was just a bad hit. Let's try it again. Yeah, just a bad hit. Yeah, and that's the end of the shrine? Already? Really? I mean, surely not, right? They wouldn't make that that simple. Right, there's no like, ooh, I knew it. Or it had to have been something else. Ooh, a spicy elixir. Kind of pointless now that I have my cold resistance, but that's okay. And what? Yes. I guess just a few looked in there originally. So that you could have seen that. Hmm. Okay, well, again, still a slightly disappointing shrine. Would have liked it to be a little more challenging. But, that is okay. I landed up here. So what's going to happen from here on is I'm going to be cutting in and out, kind of sporadically, as we get to interesting things. So, I will see you guys all whenever we get to the next interesting thing. Oh, it's cold. Let's get that on instead. And yep, it should have brought me right up to here. I like the snow all over the place. Yeah, now I got two. Ooh, there's like a quote unquote secret passageway in here. I guess if you wanted to be sneaky about this. That is not my style, of course. But, I can make an exception. Oh, that doesn't exactly work how I was expecting it to. That's okay. We'll just go with plan B. Hello. These two don't even know I'm here. Oh, well. Oh, they finally noticed. Um, want to back up just a hair. You're still alive. That's not how that's supposed to work. Oh, and you're also still alive. That's also not how that's supposed to work. There we go. I think I'm supposed to live through that. Now the last time I was at one of these, I actually forgot to grab the chest. So I'm hopeful maybe we'll have a little bit better of a... That's a lot better of a treasure than before. Previously, those used to give subpar 
to say the least. Uh, subpar gifts, items, rewards, what do you want to call them? So I'm glad they've kind of upped that. What's down here? This looks important. It looks very important. Are these bones out here? Let's make sure there's nothing behind me. Are these bones? They do look like it could be a rib cage. They had them in the original game, the first game. Oh yeah, look at this. Dragon Bone Mire. Ooh, spooky. Oh, the poor thing. Oh wait, it's just stretching. You're still gonna attack me. <laughs> Thank you very much. I have no sympathy for dogs who are going to bite at me. That might seem a little heartless, but I am a little bit of a heartless person. Chasm is still just as daunting as ever. I am curious if they're going to ever address the chasm around Hyrule. Because it does seem like kind of an odd thing. It seems like an odd... I mean, it keeps you in bounds very clearly. Oh, those are fire. But it does seem like something that needs to be explained. Thank you very much. But one lonely cherry tree up on a hill. That screams suspicious. Okay, I didn't miss anything on the way in. Oh, there's a Dorito up here. Hello there. Oh, that's not a Rito. You're not a Rito at all. Hello. Savak. Savak. Mm. Oh, you are quite the handsome Vo, aren't you? To meet in such a romantic place, could you be the Vo I was destined to fall in love with? No, no. I can tell just from the look on your face. You've not come here in search for your one true love. That's too bad. Mm. The snow isn't as bad here as it's been lately, but... Uh, it's just, I'm still so cold. Still, in a place as magical as this, I really do believe I will finally meet the handsome Vo of my dreams. Oh. But until then, let me tell you a rumor I heard about cherry blossom trees. Apparently, there is a strange creature called Satori that is sometimes seen near such trees. I've never seen it myself, but I really want to. I also heard that a Satori likes fruit. I guess I should have brought some kind of fruit with me, huh? So what you're saying is, is if I offer up one of the delicious ice fruits of the area. Superb ice fruits of the area. And I put it maybe right there. Someone's gonna come? Ah, I thought that was what this was. Satori was a Easter egg from the original, oh, game. They're all over the place. Um, okay, they're everywhere. I guess I'm going to go do that. Do you have anything to say first about what just happened? I mean, you just saw one. Mm. Nope, you have nothing. You... Uh, didn't see anything, oh. did you? Huh. Okay, well, I guess I know what I'm about to go do next. Ah, oh, still checking for Koroks. I swear, they, I have PTSD looking for them. Okay, I'm coming close to one of the Satori spots, I we'll call them. I have already cleared out this area. But I'm curious. I didn't remember seeing a cherry tree over here. I could be wrong, though. Oh, what's over here? Oh, this is right where I had the Korok. Um, or if there are maybe hidden spots around the area. And that's a dragon. Well, that's scary. So, what are you? Oh. Uh. 
A cave-in? You've got to be kidding me. How am I supposed to get inside now? Well, take a gander for yourself. The entrance to the cave is completely blocked off. I was hauling food out of there when the entrance collapsed. Now what am I? What do I do? I should have picked some bomb flowers from the other caves. Could have used them to blow these rocks away. What foul luck. I hate to leave all that food behind, but maybe I just need to call today a wash and come back tomorrow. How? So, did I miss you? Oh! <laughs> oh, oops. Um... Whoopsie daisy. That was not meant to happen. That wasn't meant to happen. There we go. And throw it from a farther distance this time. You happy with it now? Hey, the rocks didn't know what hit them. You're amazing. Now I can bring some supplies back to the village. Thank you so much. All right, I need to reward you somehow, don't I? Here, take this. Consider a token of my gratitude. Thanks a lot. I'm gonna go check if that food is still good. Thank you for opening a path for me. What I'm hopeful for is a shrine. That'd be really cool if these are all shrines. These Satori spots are shrine areas. That'd be really cool. Raspo Cave. Oh, a hey, blood moon's happening. The music's kicking up. Thankfully, there's no creatures in here. Let's let this blood moon happen, and we'll be right back. Okay, it finished. So he's right in here. Let's see what he's got to say. Ah. Thanks for the help to keep our food supplies intact. I deliver them to the village as soon as I've packed them up. Oh, that, that's nice and easy. There's nothing in this pond, but there is a farther way to go into the cave. Oops. Is it a sh oh? Bubble frog. Oh. This bow isn't as good as I thought. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, you dirty dog. Jump. Boom. Hit him again. Oh. I'm gonna hit this... Oh, I think that one would have hit, too. Got distracted. Immediately get distracted. And we got ourselves another bubble gem. Gotta go find what I'm to do with those here soon. I did talk to a lady who told me what to do with those, but did kind of forget, so I might need to look that back up. So I think then that that is it for this cave. So the Satori section doesn't give you shrines, but it gives you points of interest, I guess. Well, that's nice. It makes it my job a little easier trying to just wander around and explore. So let's get to the next one, I guess. Maybe these are just quests to help the Rito, because here's another one. Uh. What a disaster. I came all this way to scrounge mushrooms, and now this. I'll never get to the deep parts of the cave with a messed up wing. Hmm. Chill shrooms grow all over this cave, so I figured it'd be a prime spot for scavenging a little food. But cold water has built up in the, here now, and I can't pick any chill shrooms without crossing it. Ordinarily, my wings would take me right over a little pond like this. Hmm. But I hurt my wing in a small scrap with monsters. I don't see how I can fly over the pond in this condition. The worst part is, I was just bragging to the folks in the village that I'd bring back even more chilled sh chill shrooms than last time. Mm. If I don't come back with at least ten of them, there'll be egg on my face. Well, I don't like the uses of your pun, so I'm going to go in and get chill shrooms. But I'm not giving any of them to you. Because how dare you? Dude, there's you already screwed up. There's show shrooms literally right here. Um, can I reach it from here? Ooh, it's cold. It's the cold water. 
So I need to build myself a raft from the materials out here. Oh, that's a really pretty atmosphere. I was just making sure that wasn't a cave. That's really pretty. Wow. This game's gorgeous. I got kind of lazy there in the middle of making it all even, but I finished. I got over, no problem. A bunch of chill, chill shrooms. Hopefully enough to leave me some once I give him. Oh, there's more than enough. More than enough. And something even better, some minerals. Something, in my personal opinion, is far more important. Money. There we go. And let's go finish off this guy's quest. Came to the cave to gather chill shrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me give you, I, you've already told me all this. Let me give you the chill shrooms. Wait, you didn't actually cross a pond and pick the chill shrooms, did you? You weren't worried about falling into the freezing water? Well, gosh, that's really brave of you. I can't just take them for free though. Here, why don't I give you this? Thanks, bud. You just literally doubled my savings, so thank you. You know, this isn't the only cave in these mountains with pools of freezing water. Be careful when you're, where you explore. Okay, and then, oh, there's one at the very top of this. Oh, is there any place? I can jump down from here. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm very glad that you're actually able to go back to the temples. That was something you couldn't do in the original game. Outside of the DLC is go back to the bigger areas to go back into the, like, bigger temples so I'm glad this is a feature I don't know if that means that we're going to be revisiting these areas but it does make traveling a lot easier you know, I need to actually probably go that way don't I um, world map please thank you yeah I need to go this way of course I always go the wrong direction yeah that way too if you've missed a chest or something, you can just come back here and pick it up, which is really nice. Oh, speaking of chests that you might have missed, there's a chest right there. See, I would have never have seen that in without the clear skies. Ooh, thank you. I will take that. So it's, I mean, I uh, kind of went overboard for what I needed to get to, but that's okay. Found it. In fact, it was right above one of my shrines, so I was able to just literally fall down upon it. There is a house and a cave here, and I see it. Oh, uh, no. You don't. <gasps> or yes, he does. Oh, I can't believe I missed it again. Well, let's check this place out. I had, again, I'd already marked this area on my map because I knew that there was this was going to be something that I was wanting to going to explore. But here I am now, being told to explore it. <laughs> coach. Oh. oh, hi. Sorry, thought you were our coach. Sell me. Uh, knower? Mm. Selmy used to be a shield surfer. Real pro level. Went by the name Duchess of Downhill. Heard of that, maybe? Anyway, she's taken me and my best bud on as students, but then... Ah. It all started so good, you see. She said she was going out to build out a new course on the slopes somewhere. Mm. But she's still not back. I'm worried sick. Me and my best friend... My best bud, Finn, figured she'd gone to the barren snow shelf in the west. He's set off after her. I'm waiting here in case she comes back, but now Finn hasn't come back either. It's been too long. Maybe he found her. Maybe not. I don't know. I've been watching for him to send up smoke signals. That way I'd go wherever he is. We'd help coach from there. Ooh. He's got himself a bunch of different shields. Look at them. I love the designs on some of these shields. 
wonder if he's gonna give me like special shields for doing shield surfing. But now what? Thank you for my arrows back. What is in this cave? Is it going to be a discovery? Um, yep, it is going to be a discovery, isn't it? Because there is a big old cave right here. The Hebra Mountains Northwest Cave! Wasn't I supposed to go here for some reason? Wait a minute. I was supposed to go to the Northwest Cave for a puzzle for um treasure of the secret springs um no i need to go to this stunrida secret hot springs and i am currently at the hebra oh not quite where i thought i was but what's in here Ooh, a bunch of bokoblins. That's what's in here. And lots and lots of minerals, which I am never going to be opposed to. Ooh, I like this area. I like the entire concept of this. It's really cool. Is that a... What are you? You're a stone that I can maybe pick up. Ow! I'm running out of. Oh! Speaking of running out of, um, I have nothing else I can shoot fire. Let's rectify that, shall we? Um, maybe if I. Hold a. Maybe if I drop one of these and add. Yeah! Wait. Oh, that was a one time use thing. I want more than one use. Well, that's not exactly what I was wanting. So. How can I get close enough to that so I can grab it? Ooh, my hearty truffle, I will take that. And a chest, I will also definitely take. Thank you. Um, uh, read you. Ow! Um, before I die, go ahead and eat a couple of those. There we go. Oh, did my bow break again? Oh, and there he goes. I'll grab this. And how do I grab you? I need like pieces of something. Oh. Because this is definitely going to be a shrine. I bet you I gotta bring out. Seek the crystal connected to the beam. Yeah. Do so, and I will grant you a light that banishes evil. Huh. You give me the master sword? Didn't know it was going to be so easy to obtain. Well, I mean, I say easy. I saw you go flying. 
but I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to grab the... Unless... Can I maybe... Oh, can I grab it from here? No? That's a shield. A soldier shield, which is currently better than the one I am using. Maybe... Do you things float? Do you guys float? Yeah, sort of float. Uh, I just gotta be really quick about this. There we go. Nice and quick. <laughs> that is not how you were supposed to do that. I really like this concept, though. You have to kind of unlock the shrine. A neat, neat concept. You who offers the crystal, I will grant you a light that banishes evil. Well, Again, I really like that idea. It's a good concept for a shrine. To be able to get into it anyway. So we're gonna get ourselves a Raru's Blessing. Ooh, why thank you. Well, that is officially this area done. I'm sure I'll have to come back here again for snow sledding. But let's get to the next area. Okay, it's been really bugging me that I don't have this section of map yet. So we're gonna rectify that problem right now. Finally, we have this section of the map updated. The Tabantha... something. I missed it there. But the Tabantha... Like, what is that? It is the Tabantha Tundra. And I'm gonna land right up here, because I can. Okay, I already have that, something there marked. And I can get rid of this stamp. Lots of things to do. The East Hebra Sky Archipelago. Go. Lots. I would say there was lots here, but if there was actually lots here. A couple of items. What are you? I don't know what those are. You can see me from over there? Woo! That's why you can see me from over there. You crazy. Oh, 
Lord. That is a heck of a power up. I gotta say. To an arrow? Woo! I mean, thankfully, as long as I keep moving, I should be okay. That's if I keep moving. Okay, and I want to see what exactly you guys do. I wonder if they're batteries or something. I'm going to just attach you right there. Um, attach you over on the other side. Oh. I almost feel like I need to attach them on the thing like that. Oh, it looks like they might be batteries. He doesn't hit me. Wanna attach that. Woo! Turn, 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 turn! Woo! -hoo. Oh, the yep, those are batteries. So my character is running out of juice. Thank you. We will place you right next to Um, really looking for chess around. I'm looking for and eh, there's a gotcha system over here. I haven't seen one of them in a while, and an area to put a shrine. I'm gonna bring this block with me. So what does this shrine need while I'm being shot? Seek the crystal connected to the beat. Okay, it's another one of these. So where is the crystal? It better not be back over where I was just at. No, it's inside the giant scary looking thing. Even better. Uh, huh. I haven't really explored any of these Zonai areas that much. Oh. My guess is I'm going to need to have it like that so I can get shot across. But I want to do this. I don't remember how this works. Um, do I put Zonate in there? Yes. I do put Zonate in there. No, I don't put Zonate in there. I need to put in charges. Yeah, that's exactly what I need to do. And I got that's my first sled. I'm gonna real quickly use this because I have not um, really used these things a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and I've got a cart. Yeah. A light. I haven't discovered so many of those. I want to check that out. Ooh, and I, I see the shrine on that. But first, let's focus on the shrine.
Thank you. Is it down there again? Oh, okay, it's on the other side. So to say, if it's in that exact same corner, then just literally everything in that corner. Now to figure out whether or not this is the actual quote unquote solution to my problem. I doubt it. This seems like a little counterproductive, I'll be honest. Seems like a bit of a roundabout way of needing to solve a puzzle. But it is a way. No. Do I just need to use fire on this? I swear, if it's that easy. I swear. <gasps> oh, it was that easy. I spent way too much time doing that. Well, at least I got the old map because of it, but... Oh, I hurt. I hurt all over. Oh. Yeah. That should have been far easier than I allowed it to be. Ah. <sighs> There's not a way to cancel tooling, is there? <sighs> We're gonna make this like a low rider. Okay, after a actually embarrassing amount of time, we are finally finished with the shrine. Put that right there. I have seen this before. We've already done one of these. We actually literally just did one of these. So let's get in there and get our prizes already. Raru's blessing. And I can change my shield back out. I'm gonna change it to this. Topaz! Thank you. Another thing to sell. Okay, I came back over here because I knew this had to be something. Obviously, the block up there is something. This has to be something. No way it is not. Something to read here? It's etched with ancient Hyrulean text. You cannot read it. Is that so? Well, I am going to take a picture of it. Because I betcha I'm going to need that for something. Something in the future. So this is actually up behind the castle. I didn't explore a lot in the first game behind here. A lot less than I should have, that's for sure. Oh, I see a Korok down there too. We'll make sure to do him on our way out. Mallet smash. Ew. Okay. Um. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted. There we go. Then rocket. Again, not quite what I wanted. Wanted that. And I 
Fire! Uh... Huh... I can't grab that, but I can... So you... Go like that, and then try you. Me, big brain. Ooh! That's a cool bow. Um, so... That needs to go like there. And now let's lift you. Um and then what we'll do is we'll go like that and then Like that, and then grab this. Go like that, and there we go. Don't know if I needed that extra piece of wood, but it worked. Very first great fairy I have found. And there's a stable right over there. That is good to know. Let's go ahead and see the great fairy, though. Away with you. I don't want anything to do with a world ruined by gloom and ruled by monsters. It's cramped in my flower bud, but better than out there. I'll keep my blessing of the clothing enhancement to myself. I'll hear the sound of a horn bringing some lively music into the world. I'll never go outside again. Move here to be near a stable or near enough anyway, so I could grace more travelers with my blessings. But now, until I hear the sound of a horn bringing lively music into the world, I'll never go outside again. Oh, this is going to be a major side quest, isn't it? Oh, i got to go the whole way over there to get him someone to play music for the great fairy and it's gonna be a whole process okay let's do it i'll be right back i guess what is that over there i don't know i'll be right back the aura chi aura shrine Courage to fall. Okay. Um, fall. I can make it. Ooh. Is this my courage to fall? No. <laughs> I did not need courage to fall through there. Thanks for letting me know. What's around here? <gasps> uh. Uh. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Screw you. Give me all your goodies. Ah, I'm glad they didn't give me one for that. Again, some of these things aren't, some of the animations don't feel like they're necessary. Mm. 
Huh. Making sure there's no chests anywhere. Sorry, I paused my thought process there for a second. No one's sneaking up behind me. Oh, someone is sneaking up behind me. Oh, there. Oh, you ain't gonna follow me? I guess they register that as a place to fall. Um, let's go ahead and grab this. Finish that off quickly. Thank you. There was nothing I saw over there. Um, and I need a ball for over here. So there need to have been a ball somewhere. There had to have been like a ball below this. There's a chest underneath here. Oh, wait a minute. There's the ball. So I need to get the chest that is underneath. Oh, this is where the courage to fall apart comes. Oh. Now to be James Bond. Um. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot this ability existed. so that I can get the key. Now that's a good puzzle, I like that one. That one felt like a very Legend of zelda e shrine Very Zelda puzzle. And again, I like the usage of the keys. I feel like they are a little underdone, underused. So I'm glad to see more keys. to do so what does this one do first off oh Ooh. they want me to go out in style I see Going in style. Mm. Fuck that in right there. To finish off the shrine. What a gorgeous day out. Not a cloud.
cloud in the sky. And this is the Snowfield Stable. This is part of the uh, Gazette, the Lucky Clover Gazette quest. So let's go ahead and look through this with Pen. Your story is really something. I'm going through it again just to make sure I have all the details right. Sure, no problem. We've been taking care of a very rare animal for Princess Zelda, a golden horse. But the poor thing ran away from our stable. Mm. Hmm, Princess Zelda's horse vanishing like that is a pretty big story. But tell me again, where, why did that horse run off? Oh. That's the troubling part, isn't it? When it happened, I'd finished tending to the horses. I was taking a bit of a rest in the stable. Then that gentle creature began making terrible sounds neighing and bucking around so hard it shook the stable. Mm. So you went outside to see what was wrong, didn't you? Mm. Yes, exactly. And there she was, Princess Zelda. After all this time, she was right in front of our stable. But then the princess came closer, and the golden horse thrashed harder. Uh. Then the animal broke free and bolted away like nothing I'd ever seen before. I couldn't help staring at the crazed creature, and when I looked back at the princess, she was just gone. It happened so fast. Hmm. So you lost sight of the horse, then Princess Zelda vanished on the spot. It's all strange from the start to finish. My little sources tipped me off about this, but I have to say I thought it was going to turn out to be nothing much. Oh. Hey, partner, you're here. Should have known it was you there. Just look at you, tiptoeing up like this and getting your ear in. You've got the makings of a real reporter. Oh, oh is this someone else from the newspaper? That's right, new partner. Plenty of gusto, a lot of promise. Would it be all right if he listens in? Now please, tell us everything else you can remember, anything at all. Mm. The part that really bothers me is the poor animal acting that way. That horse truly loved the princess. She rescued it and protected it. She doted on it. But the horse was terrified. For the life of me, I can't understand why. Huh? Princess Zelda is known far and wide for her compassion can't imagine our princess being terrifying at all. Mm? Hold on. I think I did catch the briefest glimpse of the princess's face. I thought I couldn't have seen that. Right, but she had a very cold expression. She's been full of warmth when she's been here before. Maybe the princess was furious that I let the horse get away. Ah. I, I really should find the animal and bring it back here for her. Looking that way? Uh. But the poor horse galloped north and never looked back. So there's going to be a cool horse to find. I'd go in search of that steed, but with the huge monster that's flying around up north, it's far too dangerous for me. The best I can do is just keep the horses home here in the stable nice and clean. And just in case it returns, I just hope someone finds that sweet creature and brings it back here safely. Okay, so i got to find a golden horse now, too. And there's two doggies at this one. Um, so I need somebody to play music. Will you play uh. music? No. Oh. Uh, nope. Mm. Oh. Um, who down here is willing to play some music? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Making spicy <laughs> food. I have to try that. Mm. Uh, whatever. Who is willing to play some music for me? Um, I gotta freeze it. Ooh. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting fairy. Possibly a Korok, too. By the looks of things. Oh, fairy. Come down here, little fairy. I promise I don't bite. I promise. There we go. And Korok. No. This does not help me with my needing 
the horn sirens here. But it's cool nonetheless. I missed the music. Don't get too many travels. Thank you for coming. I don't know, that, but you should know that the musical troupe isn't here right now. Musical troupe? Yes, sir. They're a fine group of performers. They're one of the few things that would bring folks to the stable, okay. in fact. As I saw them, they were heading northeast to Woodland Stable in Eldon. Uh, I miss the days where I could warm chilly, villator, chilly, vi chilly visitors with a fire and a good show. Without that troupe, even the great fairy that blesses travelers has hidden herself away. Okay. What if we don't have enough to offer? What a sorry end to the stable that would be. Okay, since you came all the way, please take this. Well, thank you. I don't think you uh, of leaving until you're prepared. Well, I would say that I am prepared. But we gotta go the whole way back, it looks like. Is that another Korok? That is another Korok. And that's a bear. Hello there, Korok. I see that you got separated. Oh. You're a bit of a distance, aren't you? Well, I'm hunting bear, so give me a second. Oh my goodness, bear. Die already! Jiminy Christmas! Oh, it's not worth it. Well, I found the horse. Um, I think I'm going to need more stamina than I actually have for this horse. So real quickly, I have these, and I have not used them. Let me figure out how to... Um, when cooked with monster parts, the elixir produces a temporarily increase your maximum stamina. Okay, so with monster parts. So if I put some mocobblin guts in with this, maybe I'll get a stamina potion. About time we figure this out, huh? Yeah, and then. Oh, that only works once. So, hoping for that to be a little more useful. I was hoping I could just cook a ton of stuff up there in one shot. Um, um, I don't have any other stamina anything on me anyway, do I? Um... Huh. Well, that sucks. Well, I have then a little bit of extra stamina. The smallest amounts. Wait a minute, I have the stamina fish, don't I? No, they're Chilifin. The Stamica, those, that was what I need for a quest. That's right. So I'm going to take the approach of, I'm going to try to land on the horse, because I'm going to assume this horse is going to be pretty skittish. And I don't have any sort of stealth equipment. At all. Alright, here we go. Oh. I'm going back up there. I want to make sure I'm at as much stamina as I can muster. Okay. <laughs> 
Oop. And... Oop. I'm a soothing. Oh, I got him. Okay. The golden horse. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Register horse. Wait, Link, that horse. Isn't that the golden horse that ran away from our stable? I don't know what to say. Thank you so much for going through the trouble of bringing it back here. But Harlow was the one looking after the horse. So you might bring it back to her? Okay. Uh, oh. <sighs> okay, okay. Uh, I won't try to steal the horse. You can go a little faster than that. Oh, look who's finally back home. No doubt about it. This is Princess Zelda's steed for certain. I've been worried sick, but now you've found it. Eh? Huh? When did you? Oh, never mind. So, partner, when you show up and save the day in the middle of my reporting work here, well, it kind of throws me off my saddle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, just giving you a hard time. Besides, those good deeds of yours just feather my reputation. You make me proud. But, uh, is it just me? Or has that misplaced pony there got kind of, gotten kind of attached to you? I know this horse well, and I do believe you're right. Really, you'd be doing me a favor if you kept this gentle creature. Princess Zelda asked me to find someone who'd take good care of it. <laughs> and in your travels around Hyrule, perhaps you'll even have a chance to reunite this horse with the princess. <laughs> if that's the case, partner, then how could you say no to keeping it? Do it, it as a favor for the horse, at least. <gasps> Wait, I want you to have this, too. Ooh, I got the royal bridle. Um... Also, please take this and the royal saddle. Thank you very much. These are a bridle and saddle left behind by Princess Zelda. The little one's accustomed to those, so feel free to use them. Also, take this with you. Thank you. I was eating that. I'd thought of using this energy, energizing elixir if I had to help calm the horse after it bolted off. But I don't need that anymore, so I'll give it to you. You might still be a rookie. But you're every bit as good as a reporter as I thought you'd be. Thanks to you, I'll have the full story when I write my article. Oh, that's right. This was your first job, wasn't it? Partner, you did quite well to get such results your first time out. Why, I'm feeling a little proud myself. Here is the start to the old nest egg. As you take on more stories, your base pay will obviously increase. And there are bonuses, of course. Keep up the good work. All right, I'm off to the office to write up this whole piece for the paper. Take care, partner. Let's work together again soon. So long. Okay, I got myself a golden horse. Now we can go ahead and register myself a horse. Oh. Oh. Ooh, max bond already. Got high strength and speed. Huh. We charge you twenty, but you got you got a special promotion going on right now, so you can register your first horse for free. Oh, I ain't that nice. We'll add one pony point, and I believe I just got a reward then as well. Oh, it looks like you've got some points saved up. If you want to get your reward? Step up to the side counter while I keep the ledger. Then call me over. Well, then I'll move on to the registration process. Please first enter a name for your horse. Oh, no. We got big decisions here. Oh, boy. Um, Why don't I let you guys decide? If you've made it this far, go ahead and comment down below on what you think this name of this horse should be. You'd like to get your pony points reward. Yes. Ooh. For three points is a towing harness. So I'm able to tow Ooh. things, finally. Hallelujah. The horse god fabric will be yours. To the dye shop. Ooh. Okay. Well, we'll have to wait for that next time, everybody. Thank you guys all so much for watching. We're going to do this again next time so that we are able to continue on exploring. We explored a lot of the map already, but you can see there are so many other things that I have marked out here to look at. This is just 
one corner of the map. So thank you guys all so much for watching. If you enjoy what you see here and you want to see more, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you guys all next time. See ya!